Welcome to another edition of Map on the Map. I'm Larson, MAP's Program Director for Senegal, and I'm here to talk about the flood season. The flood season is something that in Senegal we deal with on an annual basis. Every summer from about May to November, large amounts of rain come into the country, and that's a big change from the otherwise arid and dry climate that Senegal experiences for most of the year. This is a welcome sight for many folks because uh, for crops, for irrigation, it provides much needed refreshment and water. Lakes and rivers are filled back up to their normal levels. But for cities, schools, buildings, and homes, it's a completely different story. At all of MAP schools, we have to undertake lots of preventative maintenance and ongoing reactive maintenance to damage that can and does occur from the floods. The floods often bring in several inches of of moisture and wetness to the schools. And we always, of course, try to build as much as possible to uh, keep the schools safe and running. Um, but occasionally we get a hundred year flood. Hundred year flood refers to a flood that is so intense that it happens only every hundred years or so. But because of climate change, we've experienced in the last four or five years, three hundred year floods. So there's been a lot of work that we've had to do in order to bring the schools uh, you know, up to be safe and uh, you know, not leaking, not, uh, not having any rain come into the classrooms. So a lot of work uh, has been undertaken in this past year to repair, restore, and reinforce our schools in Senegal. I wanna especially thank the Sterling Foundation who have been a great partner for us in Senegal in repairing the Sheikh Amadou Low School. That's MAPS Elementary School that, uh, that serves 1,200 students in Senegal, in Mbour. The Sterling Foundation has helped us refit and replace damaged flooring and tiling at the Sheikh Amadou Low School. They've also helped us repair and repaint mold-damaged walls. And the Sterling Foundation has also done something which is not necessarily uh, visible at the school, um, but they have helped us repair the septic system, which is a really crucial piece of infrastructure to the school, uh, but not necessarily one that jumps out at you. Uh, certainly the one that is damaged from many years of these hundred year floods. I also want to thank Sterling for helping us provide brand new desks and chairs for all the students at the Sheikh Amadoulou School so that we could complete a full and true renovation and provide a wonderful classroom environment for the students and the teachers. Sterling has also helped us provide new desks and chairs for the Diamagen 2 school in Abur, and we want to give a big, big thanks to them and to all of you, our monthly donors and our ongoing donors, for your support in helping us build and improve all of our schools in Senegal. And if you want to be part of that, we encourage you to join our monthly giving circle today, even a contribution of just $17 a month. That's a couple of uh, lattes a month. Um, that will help us really transform lives in Senegal and around the world. Thanks so much.